afternoon. You should be able to hear me. And uh, let me know if the volume is soft or too loud or whatever. Um, welcome. Good afternoon for most of you. Uh, good evening and good morning for those of you that may be out of the country. I know we get a lot of people from uh, different parts of the world. So it, regardless of what that might be, good, welcome. Thanks for coming today. My name is Jeff Gibby. I'm going to have the pleasure of reading a legal disclaimer. Let's get to that. Um, today's demonstration, where's my cursor? Okay. Today's demonstration is designed to instruct you on using Metastock and the accompanying software plugins. It is not a recommendation to buy or sell, but rather guidelines to interpreting and using specific indicators and features within the software. The information, software, and techniques presented at the workshop today shouldn't only be used by investors who are aware of the risk inherent in trading Metastock. shall have no liability for any investment decisions based on the use of the software any trading strategies, or any information provided in connection with the company. All right, that's fun. Um, today's presentation, uh, Tom and I have been um, working together for a number of years. I consider him a friend. He may not have the same feeling. That's totally fine if he does it. Um, I, I'm very impressed with Tom's books. I've actually had a chance to read both of them. Um, both of them are bestsellers. Um, but the thing that I really wanted to kind of say about Tom today is I actually met with one of our uh, users at uh, the Vegas Expo. I think it was Vegas, but it might have been New York. If you've been to as many expos as I have, sometimes they bleed together a little bit. But um, I talked to him for a little bit. He, he was talking about how profitable of a year 2013 was for him. And I asked him what he was using, just point blank. And um, he said he was using um, Dr. Thomas Carr. And... Uh, I thought that was pretty awesome. Um, I, I, I obviously have a lot of respect for Dr. Carr's methods. They come highly recommended. Um, uh, Dennis Peterson at Stocks and Commodities obviously really, really kind of gave us a, a great review on the product. But I love it when kind of the tools that we release actually have a really good impact on traders and what they're doing. So I thought I'd share that story as an introduction instead of reading his bio and all that kind of stuff. And you know, if you've ever been to one of these before, I usually try and get out of the way as soon as possible, let the presenter talk. You're not here to, you have to listen to me do a legal disclaimer, but um, you're here to listen to Dr. Carr. So I'm going to get out of the way. Dr. Carr, let's bring you on and let's let you go. Thank you, Jeff. And uh, welcome, everybody. It's great to be here with you, and I appreciate you all coming out, especially those of you who are taking a little time out of the uh, working day. And a uh, quick thanks to Jeff, whom I also consider to be a friend. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. Appreciate the intro, and always good to hear uh, of a good testimonial from someone who's actually using the Trend Trading Toolkit. Uh, we're going to talk about the toolkit uh, today, but we're going to use that as a way of looking at uh, one of my uh, trading systems that is found in the toolkit and it's in fact my most profitable system and I'm really anxious to share this with you. I haven't shared this particular system with any of the Metastock community before so uh, this will be a first time for that and I also will leave you today with a couple of trades from that system that you might consider doing a little bit of further work on and maybe put a position or two on uh, uh, sometime tomorrow. So let's go get into that. Before we get uh, too deeply into the toolkit and other things, I just want to briefly give you the story that lies behind what I'm doing in the trading world currently. Um, you've, you're familiar with the story if you've read um, any of my books. There are three books out now. In fact, one just came out this month, uh, third book, uh, Market Neutral Trading. Or if you're familiar with our website, drstocks.com, you'll know our story there too. But if not, let me just very briefly tell you uh, that it was back in 2002 that I launched our first uh, advisory stock pick letter. I'm not a professional finance guy by any means. I don't have an MBA or an uh, economics degree. I'm, I'm a philosopher and religious studies professor by trade, although now retired to do this trading gig full time. And uh, it was started off as a hobby. Things did uh, really well, went really well, developed a, a free following on an um, investor uh, uh, stock trading thread called Investor's Hub. 
and that pre-following then converted into the number of paying subscribers, and we've been sort of building on that ever since. So back in 2002, launched a daily stock pick letter called the Trend Trade Letter, and that's still being published every day. Uh, averages about uh, 37% per year, uh, annualized uh, to date, or about 2,200% since launch. 27, uh, 2007 launched our second uh, newsletter called the ETF Reversal Letter. And that's one where we take six very common ETFs, the Spiders, the QQQ, the Financial ETF, et cetera. And we're either long or short 100% of the time uh, those six ETFs. So it's a true reversal system there. We don't have any stops. Uh, we're always fully invested in all six of those, either long or short. And that's done very, very well. We're averaging uh, close to 60% per year in that particular letter. And then uh, 2008 came out with my first book. McGraw-Hill approached me and said, hey, could you put some of your systems into verbal form? <laughs> Which was easy for me to do because I'd been teaching them already in seminar format for years. So it was just a matter of padding that out a little bit and sent that off to McGraw-Hill. And uh, much to my surprise and to their surprise too, I think it became quite a big bestseller. And uh, it's uh, been translated into a number of languages, Japanese, Korean, Chinese, etc., and has uh, created a number of friends uh, around the world who are involved in trading. So it, I, I really uh, feel good about that book, and if you haven't read it, I do recommend it. Um, 2010, McGraw-Hill asked for a follow-up book, so I came out with a uh, book that focused more on short-term trading, Micro Trend Trading for Daily Income. And in the same year, 2010, we launched our third uh, daily stock pick letter called the Cheap Stocks Letter, which focuses on stocks trading under uh, $10 per share. That has averaged, um, oh, about uh, around 45 to 50% per year. It's over 300% uh, annualized, or sorry, total return since the launch back in 2010. And then uh, today, uh, in fact, last, last year, 2013, we launched our new website, drstocks.com. And I have a number of uh, trading webinars, uh, some uh, trading manuals that we sell from the site. Uh, I'm also involved in private coaching, and I do have a managed account service as well. So a lot of good stuff coming out of there. Uh, we formed a, a, a capital management company called Kingdom Capital that manages the 818 fund after Deuteronomy 818. And uh, that's, that's doing pretty well. It's a small hedge fund for a number of private clients. And we'll be launching in 2014 here a new managed account service for smaller account traders. So if you get on our mailing list, you'll hear more about that later in the year. Okay, so that's all the introduction I wanted to give you on what I'm doing and kind of how I got into this business of trading. It's a very interesting business. Uh, can be extremely profitable. But as all of you know, uh, you really need to know what you're doing. And what I'd like to do is give you some, uh, some guidelines on uh, some of the trading uh, strategies that I use and some of the daily routine that I put on each day. And so what we're going to cover in our webinar today, our brief time together today, is uh, first of all, I want to introduce you to a very quick and easy way you can use the Trend Trading Toolkit to set up a watch list of the best trading stocks available. Uh, we all know there are thousands of stocks out there, seven, 8,000 stocks, and if you include foreign uh, equities and securities as well, you've got tens of thousands of stocks out there to choose from. But the, uh, the best trading stocks in terms of bang for your buck, and that is uh, quick moves, reliable trading patterns over a short period of time, strong price movement, uh, there, there aren't there, that many of those kinds of stocks, and I'm going to show you a very easy way to whittle those out of the market and to form a watch list of, oh, the top 50 or 60 of, of those kinds of stocks. Secondly, we're going to um, learn how to scan for strategic breakout stocks, and uh, we're actually um, not going to be looking at breakout stocks today. We're going to be looking at reversal stocks today. So that uh, part of the webinar needs to be uh, fixed, but no, no, wor no worries there. And uh, then thirdly, we're going to look at how to sort out the, um, the, uh, the best trading stocks uh, from those that come forward through the scan. 
And we're going to be looking at not a breakout stock, we're going to be looking at a reversal stock, uh, a couple of them, in fact, uh, at the end of our presentation today. So with that as warm-up, um, let's talk a little bit about the uh, watch list scan that we'll be looking at here. Um, <clears throat> our goal in creating a watch list of the best stocks for trading is to take those thousands of stocks that are out there, as I said, and whittle them down to the top 40, 50, 60 stocks that are the best uh, vehicles for trading. And uh, these stocks have three things in common. They firstly are uh, trading at above average trading volume. The average stock on the New York Stock Exchange and the NASDAQ uh, index and so on uh, averages 93,000 shares per day. So anything over that is above average. I myself make a, a put a minimum share volume at around 300,000, sometimes 400,000, 500,000, depending on uh, the, the, the trading universe at the time. And uh, so anything over 100,000 or so is putting you in the above average category. You certainly want that. You want stocks that are liquid, easy to get in and out of. Secondly, you want stocks that show above average volatility. For this, you can use uh, the uh, quantifier beta, which determines how volatile a stock is relative to the S&P 500. So a beta of 1.0 is a stock that is just as volatile as the S&P 500, which means the S&P 500 goes up 1%, your stock is likely to go up also 1%. So we're looking for stocks that are trading well above that 2.5 beta value, perhaps 2.8 beta value, even 3.0 beta value. Those are the kinds of stocks that really make the, 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 the quick moves that have strong price momentum and a lot of uh, uh, volume behind them making those sharp moves. So those are the stocks that we're, we want to focus on. And then thirdly, we want to focus on stocks that are trading in the sweet spot, what's called the sweet spot of trading. And um, stocks that are priced somewhere between 10 and about $50 per share on an average basis. And um, uh, Jeff, I just want to ask you uh, real quickly, sorry, this is a bit of an aside here. I think I may be working here with a, a PowerPoint that I, uh, have, that I haven't updated. The one that I sent you this afternoon is the updated version. Did you get the updated version, Jeff? Hi, Tom. I'm, <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Um, this is, I'm fairly certain, the same one I got today. I can verify that. I can help okay. you upload the one that you just sent. Okay. Uh, sorry, folks. I just um, want to make sure that we're working here with with the, uh, the Yeah, most, I have a brand new uh, laptop, so, so this is the one I actually got from you. But if you click on, um, you see where it says share my screen right there? Uh-huh. Click on the down arrow there and click on share document. Okay. There will be an option to browse your computer, and you should be able to share it from your documents folder. It'll take just a second to upload. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that, folks. I just want to make sure that you've got the, um, the latest version here, which is this one. Just a few seconds here, and uh, I'll go ahead and fast forward through some of the preliminary material so we don't uh, get, uh, it was so that we have enough time to get everything in in the one hour. I want to make sure we keep it to an hour. Um, but as this is coming up, just a reminder that we will be looking at a, re at a reversal system rather than a breakout system. And, uh, and I'm doing that in this case because the market, as we all know, has been in a pretty sharp pullback mode. Now, today it's bouncing somewhat uh, as a, a bit of a relief rally, and hopefully this will be uh, it, you know, kind of enough to get us back onto the uptrend, but it may, may or may not be. But having uh, pulled back for several days quite sharply, 
uh, there are very few really solid breakout stock candidates. So we're not looking for breakout trades in a market like this. We are looking instead for uh, stocks that, are, have, that have pulled back. Okay, so let me go ahead and fast forward. Here we go. This is the new one. And so in our uh, PowerPoint today, uh, we're looking for strategic reversal charts. And let me just show you real quickly what the Dr. Stock's trend trading toolkit looks like. It, once you have it uploaded into your Metastock, you're going to see 13 technical scans, which, correct me if I'm wrong, Jeff, but I think that makes it one of the largest, if not the largest, uh, trading add-on package in Metastock. And if you're familiar with my first book, Trend Trading for Living, you will find all of the systems listed there. If you're familiar with my second book, Micro Trend Trading, you'll find two of the day trading scans there, not as an exploration, but as the extra advisory that you can add on to charts. And you're also going to find this uh, pre-filter high beta watch list, which is uh, this one that's highlighted here in blue. And that's the the exploration that you will be using to find the uh, to to find the, uh, the the best trading stocks to build your watch list of the best trading stocks. So I just want to give you a quick peek at what the toolkit looks like, um, and you'll also find that every one of those 13 explorations is in open code form. So you've got the full code there. If you are familiar with Metastock code, you, you're able to go in and tweak those. You can adjust volume. You can adjust you know, different parameters to fit your trading style and, and uh, add on a stop loss, et cetera, that sort of thing. So uh, fully uh, adaptable to your style. You do that. And let's get back to what we were doing before. Uh, so we're looking for these three things that stocks have in common. Let me just explain this sweet spot here. Studies have been done on uh, on price uh, price to um, return. In other words, uh, the, the average stock price relative to the amount of return relative to the amount of risk that's being taken in the trade. And it's been found that stocks priced under $10 per share, while the return tends to be higher, the risk also tends to outweigh that. And then stocks priced above, above $60 per share tend to have lower risk involved, but they also have lower return. So the sweet spot is right between $10 and $60 per share, $10 to $50, $60 per, per share, depending on the market. If it's a strong bull market with everything going up, you're going to have to up your range a little bit. Three easy steps for finding these uh, sorts of stocks. Um, you want to run that pre-filter scan in the trend trading toolkit that I just mentioned. Save those stocks to a watch list. You'll want to apply one of the five templates. You're, you're going to have five chart templates in the trend trading toolkit. Uh, these were pre-designed by me with Jeff's help to fit the different systems that we have there. So you can apply any one of those to all the charts in your watch list. You're going to go through that watch list one by one using the... Um, the uh, the feature there in Metastock, you're going to delete any chart that has large gaps as a result of, say, a buyout or, um, you know, unfortunate bad news. You're also going to um, eliminate any ADRs, those uh, depository receipts from overseas stocks that tend to have a lot of overnight gaps uh, because those aren't really uh, good trending stocks. They're st harder to read on a technical basis. And what you have left then, you know, the 40 to 50 stocks that are really primed and ready to go, you're going to scan through those charts looking for your technical setups. You, you can also apply any one of the 11 expert advisories that come with a trend trading toolkit to each of those charts. And if once you have that on the chart, you'll get real-time alerts anytime the, one of the technical setups is registered on the chart. In those expert advisories, you're also going to get commentary that will tell you the exact entry price, where to set your stop loss, the best uh, target exit, and that sort of thing. So a lot, lot, of, a lot of good help there. So we're going to run this uh, pre-filter scan. Uh, just uh, click uh, highlight that, click Next to get our best uh, watch list of stocks. I like to select the U.S. optionable stocks. But you can see, you can select a whole variety of different kinds of stocks, including overseas stocks. Uh, and uh, once you highlight all those, you click Next. 
I just leave it at the default setting and then start the exploration. And once the exploration is run, it has run its course, you're going to come up with a list of excellent trading stocks. I would save those to a watch list that you would name and then you're set to go. You p apply the template, apply um, one or two of the expert advisories, and you've got um, a very easy way of highlighting and finding great trading stocks each, e each and every trading day. If you go down through this list, you're going to see, if you're familiar with stock trading, you're going to see some of the better names here, you know, uh, CLDX, uh, CSIQ, which was one of the best stocks from last year, 800% return, uh, Acadia Pharmaceuticals, and on and on the list goes. All the, you know, the big time, big league trading stocks all show up on this particular scan. So that's your pre-filter scan. What I want to look at now, and we'll spend a little more time with this now that we've gotten through the, 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 the introductory things, is the a mean reversion system that I developed a number of years ago and it's one that I've actually been working on for several years and it's been slightly tweaked over time as I've added uh, a number of different back tests to it and have you know tried different ways of exiting and entering the positions in other, in other words it's it has been a system in process but the, the trend trading toolkit has the best version of my particular mean reversion system and I I'm not the only one who trades this kind of a system there are varieties of them out there uh, but it's based on one key idea and that is that when stocks make extreme moves in price away from their 20 period moving average and I use the 20 period moving average because that really fits my particular trading profile you can use a shorter term moving average if you like more quick-term trades. You can use a longer-term moving average if you like longer-term trades. But my particular trading profile really fits the well the 20-period moving average, which gives you um, trading holds of about one to two weeks. Once they move far away from the 20-period moving average, then price tends to revert to that average in about a week or less. In fact, your ideal holding period for this particular system is five trading days. There are different ways of exiting this uh, system, and one of them, very simply, is just to exit on the close five days after you've entered, uh, and you'll find that that works really quite well. In fact, on, on a day-to-day -day basis, for whatever reason, the number five, the fifth day, tends to be the maximum amount of movement in the least amount of time. You're going to get the, the most price, average price movement per, on a percentage basis per day on a five-day exit as opposed to a longer term hold. But there are other ways of managing this system. We're not going to worry too much about that here. We don't have the time to get into those details. I wanted to show you some very quick uh, uh, research that is, was done by a friend of mine named um, uh, Connors, Larry Connors, who does a lot of work on, uh, on uh, price extremes, move, price movement extremes. He's developed a a technical indicator based on uh, not not so much movement away from the 20 period moving average but based on oversold and overbought conditions it's called the Connors RSI it's based on an RSI a re a relative strength indexed reading of uh, using a either a two or a three period um, periodicity and among other things and it does register very nicely some extreme price movements. And what I wanted to show you just very quickly here is that uh, when the Connors RSI gets to very, very over, over, um, uh, oversold levels, gets when it approaches zero, which is as oversold as it can get, it can't get any lower than zero. It's a range of zero to 100. You're going to find the greatest amount of return over a five-day period over 2%, about 2.3% uh, per five days once a stock registers a Connors RSI reading under five. And then over here, conversely, once the Connors RSI reads over 95, which is to say very, very overbought, it tends to lose value close to 1.5% over five days, which would mean, you know, of course, you're shorting that, so you're gaining... Um, you, you're, you're, you're profiting from that move by going short. 
So what this tells us is that you can make some very good consistent money trading stocks that are extremely overbought or oversold. Now, Connors uses his RSI method, which is fine, works just fine. He's, he's got it all hammered out with all kinds of add-ons to his system. Um, I prefer to use a different vehicle. I, I like using the Bollinger Bands, which uh, we won't go into how they're developed and how they measure price moves, but for my money, they have given me the most consistent uh, mean reversion setups. I've, I've played around with Connor's RSI over the years, and I really respect his work. He's he's really great teacher. I really enjoy what he does. But I just haven't been able to make much money with hit that particular indicator. I don't know why. But I've I've done very very well with this Bollinger Band system. So the system looks just very briefly like this. Uh, what we're looking for is a rising volatility in a particular stock and you can use this system on ETFs, you can use them on currency pairs, you can use them on e-minis, really anything that trades, anything that can be charted, you can use, you can apply this system to. I, I'm a stock guy, so um, an ETF guy as well, so I use this on stocks. And we're using Bollinger Bands to measure that rising volatility, which means in general we're looking for the Bollinger Bands to expand as we get into the setup of this system. We're not looking for Bollinger Bands that are contracting. If you know anything about Bollinger Bands, and I'll show you some chart examples here in a minute, then you'll know that uh, contracting Bollinger Bands mean decreasing volatility, expanding Bollinger Bands mean increasing volatility. We're looking really for increasing volatility, number one. Number two, we're looking for a close outside of either the upper Bollinger Band, which means we're looking at a short setup, or outside the lower Bollinger Band, which means we're looking at a long setup. And we also, in combined with that, we're looking for price to be trading outside of the Bollinger Band greater than 10% away from the 20 period simple moving average of price. So either 10% above or 10% below. So obviously if the close of the day is outside the upper Bollinger Band, we're looking for price to be trading 10% above the 20 SMA. And if it's outside the lower Bollinger Band, we're looking for price to be trading 10% under the 20 period moving average. And we're looking for that to be triggered anytime during the trading day. So it doesn't have to be a closing basis. It can take place uh, in the middle, in, in the, during the intraday movement, which is one of the great things about the trend trading toolkit. This this system is totally um, uh, coded into the trend trading toolkit, and to find these great trades, all you have to do is run the scan throughout the day. You can run it every hour, you can run it every 15 minutes, and it will give you the stocks that are satisfying these requirements at that moment, in that moment. So you're going to get real-time updated trading setups per this system by using the mean reversion um, exploration in the Trend Trading Toolkit. And then lastly, our entry is on the very next day if and only if we have some sort of a reversal candle. By reversal candle, generally we mean a candle that is moving in the opposite direction of the dominant trend that took it outside the Bollinger Band. So if the stock is way below the the uh, lower Bollinger Band, we're looking for a green candle or maybe something like a hammer candle or even a doji candle that closes in the upper uh, third or so of the candlestick. We're looking for something that looks like a bullish reversal. The easiest way to do that is simply to look for a candle that has the close higher than the open. To be entering entering on the close of that day. Sorry if you heard some noise in the background there. That was Jeff coming through. I don't know how to get rid of Jeff's noise. But <laughs> uh, that. I'll so turn it, the microphone. Okay, that'd be great. Um, so we want to enter on the, on the day after we hit that 10% mark. So in other words, 1, 2, and 3 are describing day minus 1. And number 4 is describing 
today, today's trading. The, the day that you're going to enter the stock. And you want to enter at the close of that reversal candle. So you, you may get three or four candles in a row that satisfy one, two, and three. But until you get a reversal candle in number four, you're not going to enter the trade. You're going to wait for that reversal. And once you hit that reversal, then you're, you're good to go. There are different ways of exiting this trade. As I said before, the simplest way is to simply hold the position for five trading days. You entered at the close of day zero. So the immediate day after that becomes day one. And then on the fifth day, you would exit at the close. And my statistics show that that will give you the greatest amount of price movement per day. So uh, the five day hold, I, that's the one I always recommend. Um, I have a whole manual that describes this system, by the way, if you want to really kind of dig down into all the particulars of it and, and look at a variety of different exit uh, strategies. I, I sell that through our website. I'm going to give you an opportunity here at the end to, to get that manual for free. So, so hang, hang on there. Bear with us to the end. Um, but having said that, uh, you, you don't really need to know all the all the parameters. All you need to do is just run that scan, run the exploration in the trend trading toolkit, and then enter as you see the reversal candle. And the trend trading toolkit will actually not give you the signal until you get the reversal candle. So that's already programmed in. Enter at the close of that day. Hold on for five trading days, and you're good. And you just do that day in, day out, day in, day out. I I like to use this system as a a pair traded system. So as I'm putting on long trades, I also, uh, as much as I can, put on the same number of short trades so that you have sort of a, a good hedge working against you depending on market conditions. As you know, the, the long side of the system will tend to work better when the market's going up and the short side works better when the market's going down. And that can be kind of hard to predict sometimes. So if you can have a good mix of longs and shorts going on at the same time, uh, you, you'll have the best of both worlds. You have a good hedge going on. And in the manual that I mentioned before, I've, I've got a, a, a spreadsheet showing um, several weeks of my own real money trading, doing just that, putting on those pair trades. It worked extremely well. Now, I, I haven't been able to replicate the 8% per week <laughs> return that I was getting over a 12-week uh, period back then, but it's, you know, I'm getting about 2 to 3% per week using this system in a pair-traded way. So for my money, that's pretty good. Uh, if you're doing better than that, God bless you, <laughs> and keep doing what you're doing. Um, a couple of optional parameters that I like to throw on if I have, let's say sometimes the, the uh, exploration will return more trades than I can handle. And, um, you know, I, I like to put on maybe three or four uh, pairs per day until I've got maybe a dozen or so pairs on at, at any one time. And then I'll kind of lay back until they start uh, exiting. But if I get, say, 10 or 12 uh, uh, viable trades in a day, which doesn't always happen but can happen, I'd like to put on a couple of extra filters to make sure I'm weeding out the best candidates from all the rest. And one of the things I like to look for is uh, the, the current price at the point of signal, uh, not necessarily at the point of entry, which is, you know, the day after the signal, right? Because you're looking for the reversal candle. But at the point of signal, that price is trading at a significant place of support if it's a long or resistance if it's a short. That can come in a variety of different things. It uh, can, can be a, a moving average, a, a major moving average. It can be an area of price support from the past or an area of price resistance from the past. It can be a trend line that you've drawn in under the lows of the, of the pivot lows, et cetera. Uh, so look for that kind of thing to confirm uh, the best trades possible. Secondly, I do like to look for divergence in, in, the, in some of the other momentum indicators. So I might put on a five period RSI or I might put on a 20 period CCI, the commodity channel index, or stochastics or on balance volume, th those sorts of things to see if in a, in, a, um, in a long candidate, if I'm getting a higher low, even as price is making a lower low, 
that's bullish divergence, and that's a very positive thing in my book. And then, of course, the opposite is true on a short candidate. You want to look for uh, lower highs in the indicators relative to higher highs in price. That would be bearish divergence. So that's also a big plus if you can see that. And uh, thirdly, I like to look for favorable volume patterns, which generally what you want, want to see here is that on the signal day, which is the day that satisfies one, two, and three above, then you want to see really kind of blowout volume, above average volume, get all those weak hands out of the stock, get all those stop losses out of the stock. And then once all the selling has been done, you get a nice little kind of light volume reversal bar that indicates that, oh, the, the tide has turned, the sellers, they're out of the stock already. And once you have the, once the selling is done, then the stock is ready to go up. So that's a favorable volume pattern. You don't have to see that. Sometimes you get all kinds of weird volume patterns and still the stock works, works great. Um, anyway, it, it, it really uh, it just depends on how many, how many um, stocks are being filtered by the scan. If you're only getting one or two, you don't really need to put on those optional parameters there at the end because this is a system that works consistently. You, you should be getting north of 70% as a win rate with this system. Uh, which is excellent if you if you're familiar with trading that that's that's pretty darn good and you should also be getting I don't I don't know exactly the figure but it's about 2.5 2.7 to 1 on a uh, profit to loss ratio which is also excellent so um, so anyway let's look at how to work this system with the trend trading toolkit you would highlight the exploration here it's simply listed as long and short mean reversion scan it's a single scan that will give you both long and short candidates. So th this is why I like to use it uh, as a paired trading strategy because you're going to have, you know, the, the stocks are going to line up as longs and shorts almost paired by themselves. You would do want to make sure, pay a little bit of attention if you can to not putting on a lot of the stocks in the same sector. You know, sometimes you'll get bad news hitting, let's say, the solar stocks. And then, you know, in, in a couple of days, they're all trading below their lower Bollinger Band, you know, and, and on increased volatility and everything is falling into place. But you'll have like seven or eight solar stocks that you should be going long on. And <clears throat> that's, that's for my money, carrying too much risk to put all that on in the same sector. So I like to mix up sectors a little bit if I can. And... Um, even to go long and short stocks in the same sector is pretty cool, but that doesn't happen very often. So you're going to run that scan looking for the best long and short candidates. And uh, we're going to be highlighting two stocks here in a moment that um, uh, satisfied all those requirements that I mentioned and are ready to go, or that at least they were ready to go as of this morning's trading. Um, I, I, I take that back. As of yesterday's trading. Now, we've had a full day of trading, almost closed now, that may um, have violated that. But it, the fact is that as of the yesterday's close, these two stocks were ready to go. I, my guess is that you might be able to get in at least one of them a little better than yesterday's close because there was a bit of bad news that came out. The stock I'm talking about here is uh, Herbalife HLF. It's had all kinds of weird stuff going on this year, you know, Icon and and uh, others getting on board either long or short. And then you've got lawsuits pending and people are saying it's a Ponzi scheme and all kinds of wild things about Herbalife. I don't want to, uh, uh, you know, say anything more because some of you may be Herbalife distributors and that's fine. More, more power to you. We've had friends that have done very well in that company. But... Uh, the fact is that it's been a great trading stock uh, for all kinds of reasons. It's very volatile. It's got great volume. It, it has some excellent fundamentals for sure, if you look at that side of thing, which I do myself. And, uh, you know, great growth and, and uh, fairly decent valuations and all that. So I, what I want to do here is give you a little bit of a test. Based on our four on our four criteria, number increasing volatility, which is measured by increasing Bollinger Bands, price trading outside of the upper or lower Bollinger Band, price trading at least 10% above or below 
the 20 period moving average and then a reversal candle there are on this particular chart three uh, three trading setups there are three mean reversion setups on this particular piece of the Herbalife chart and if you can spot them I'm, I'm not going to ask you any questions here but it, see if you can find them for yourself and in the next slide I'll show you where they are okay so you got them you think you've got them let's take a look at the answers here we have our three mean reversion setups we have two shorts and we have one long all three are profitable um, so we have here uh, stock trading you know nicely above the upper Bollinger Band we have a, a intraday high that is at least 10 percent above the 20 period moving average the Bollinger Bands as you can see are really nice and wide and getting wider and we have this reversal candle right there at the upper Bollinger Band you would enter on the close of that day you'd hold it for one two three four five you're out on that day for nice little gain here we have a uh, nice way high above the 20 period moving average the Bollinger Band is increasing we have this big red candlestick bar as our reversal candle you're you're in at the close of that day you're in for one two three four five for a small gain if on you know, on that one if you're holding all the way to the 20 period moving average which is another way of exiting these positions you you hold till either five days pass or the 20 period moving average is is a closed beyond in other words the close goes beyond the 20 period moving average and which and you would exit on whichever comes last then you could have held on for a couple more days for another buck or so in this trade and here's a nice looking long position increasing Bollinger Band width uh, close or at least intraday move 10% below the 20 period moving average here's your big fat reversal candle you'd enter at the close of that day one two three four or five all the way to the top of that move that's a nice looking long now if we go to the next slide you're gonna see some uh, some setups here that kind of look like mean reversion setups there are four of them I've highlighted here but they're not quite they don't quite satisfy all four requirements in the first case right here uh, we have uh, we're not far enough away from the 20 period moving average we're only about eight and a half nine percent not the full 10 percent that we want to see and down here we're clearly not 10 percent below um, up here we're not only not 10 percent above the 20 period moving average but the Bollinger Bands are pinching in you're getting narrower you don't want to see that down here again the problem is the lack of the 10 percent below the uh, 20 period moving average but once we get down here we're well away from the 20 period moving average and the Bollinger Bands are getting nice and wide so that's the best one right there those three trades uh, you put them together you get uh, over a 30 percent gain in 16 total trading days that includes that 20 period moving average exit that I mentioned which comes to an annualized uh, return of 475 percent which is just about par for this system so it takes some work but man that's a great return so this is this is the most profitable position uh, system that I teach and um, uh, just by comparison's sake if you were to buy and hold Herbalife over this same period represented by the chart about 70 trading days you'd have a a little bit of a return but really not much to compare with now here is Herbalife as of yesterday's close it signaled a new mean reversion setup at uh, yesterday's close as I said before there was some negative news out on the stock today so I think you can probably get it lower than the close yesterday um, which doesn't negate you know we're not worried about earnings we're not worried about news any of that stuff we're just this is just a pure technical scan and on a pure technical basis this stock is expected to rise even after today's trading over the next five trading days now four trading days because today is day number one and uh, if it goes all the way to the 20 period moving average which could take longer than the five trading days 
I'd say on average you're going to hold it about 8 to 10 days to hit the 20 period moving average. You're looking at a nice return of 15%. That's the potential from yesterday's close, probably more like 17, 18% today. The other trade I want to highlight is U.S. Steel, which I like. Uh, like U, uh, HLF, it's trading here at a significant moving average. This is the 100 period moving average. The other was 200 period moving average. Here is your close as of yesterday. I think it closed, I don't know, last time I checked, closed. it was trading at around the same price, somewhere in the low 25 to 25.50 range. And it is expected to run up into the 20 period moving average for a return of about 11%, maybe more like 12% now. And, uh, and that one's good to go, as far as I'm concerned, good to go for tomorrow morning. So those are two trades that you can uh, do a little further due diligence on that have satisfied those four requirements of the mean reversion system. And these were trades that came up on the scan that I ran this morning, very early this morning, as of yesterday's close. There were a few others as well, but these are the two that looked the best. Lastly, before I turn it over to Jeff, and then we'll have a little time for um, question and answer. And uh, you're free to ask anything you, you wish to uh, regarding this system or trend trading toolkit or anything else uh, regarding trading. Uh, but before we get there, I just want to let you know that that manual that I mentioned, it's a 46-page manual, normally sells for $99. You can get it on our website now for $88. But I want to give it to you for free. Uh, it, it will explain everything you need to know to build and scan and trade and manage these mean reversion trades. This is an excellent, excellent system. If you have the same kind of trading profile that I do, which is to say you like to hold your stocks for about five to ten days. If you're a day trader, you can use this system on an intraday basis. It, it can be applied to five period, five minute moving average, five, sorry, five minute charts, ten minute charts, etc. You just have to adjust that distance away from the 20 period moving average, it's no longer going to be 10%. It's going to be much less than that. Um, you can use it on a weekly chart if you're a longer term position trader. You can use it on currencies. You can use it on the e-minis. Um, I, I trade e-minis occasionally. I'm not, a, not real keen on them. <laughs> Don't, they're just a little scary for me. My, my, my risk tolerance isn't as high, but uh, you can trade this on that system, on that uh, security. So I want to give it to you for free, but I, I want you to do a little bit of work for it. I, I want you to subscribe because I think this is really going to benefit your trading to our three newsletters that I mentioned at the top of this webinar. You, I'm going to give you half off your first month. You just use the coupon code SAVEON3. Use the coupon code SAVEON3, S-A-V-E-O-N-3, when you're asked to put in a coupon code. If you have any trouble with that, email me and you're going to get 50% off your first month, um, then you'll pay full price if you want to continue after that. You can cancel at any time. And if you order the uh, Trend Trading Toolkit, just email me the receipts. Uh, I'll know if you subscribe to the letters, but email me the receipt for your Trend Trading Toolkit, and I will email you right back uh, a PDF file that has the full copy of the Mean Reversion Manual. Uh, you can also um, order it on our website if you want to for $88, whichever one. So just again, uh, our three newsletters are here, Trend Trade Letter, ETF Reversal Letter, the Cheap Stocks Letter. Go to drstocks.com to sign up for the letters. Go to metastock.com to sign up for the Trend Trading Toolkit. Email me at drstocks at drstocks.com if you have any questions regarding any of that, or if you have a follow-up from the webinar today. And Jeff, I'll turn it back over to you. Okay, great. Thanks, uh, Tom. Appreciate having you here. Um, just so, uh, as a reminder, we do have, have kind of like our holiday specials on the add-ons coming up, and it's a huge, huge add-on. We've really put a lot of time and effort into it, and it's been very well received by our audience. So um, we've got um, quite a few things here. Again, if you want to try this, and I'd recommend you do, you're going to get it on a money-back guarantee of 30 days. And um, it comes highly recommended from kind of the, the reviewer that we work with at Stocks and Commodities. Um, one of our best add-ons. Very, very proud of this one. 
Um, this is a bunch of information that we've got. Um, when we put it together, we put together a full suite of commentaries. You guys know I love the commentaries, but we give suggested entry prices, suggested stop levels, ATR stop levels, target values. It's definitely something that you can use. Um, well, the cost on of it is $299. There's a 30-day money-back guarantee on it. And if you want to order it, give us a call at 800-882-3040. Tom, I'd like to thank you for coming in again today. Really good to have you here. And uh, I look forward to the next event. Sounds good, Jeff. Me too. I'm just uh, looking through different uh, questions here. Um, let's see. Someone asked for the two trades you want to uh, look at for uh, HLF, Herbalife, and for U.S. Steel, which is uh, stock symbol X. And again, both of those came up in yesterday's trading. Uh, good to go from yesterday's close. Um, I do believe at least Herbalife is down from yesterday's close. And um, I, I have positions in both of those as of yesterday's close myself. I added a little bit uh, on this morning on a dip, but so I'm, I'm with you if you're going to join me on those two. And there were several others that came up as well. Uh, those were the two that looked the best. Let's Adele see, asks um, a question I can answer. Questions I might. Have. Uh, while he's looking for other questions, Dell asks how easy it is to use uh, Metastock. Actually, Metastock is pretty easy, but you reminded me, if, if you're somebody that hasn't used Metastock before, and remember there's a few of you, uh, if you actually sign up for the uh, Dr. Stock's toolkit, um, you'll get a money-back guarantee on that and a $100 discount. We'll give you a free trial to Metastock so you can evaluate Metastock and the scanning and things like that. We get a lot of feedback, um, particularly between Metastock 11 and 12 and 13. We've really streamlined the order flow and the process quite a bit to make things a lot easier to use. Um, and it certainly is a lot easier than it used to be. And um, as, as you ha have right there, uh, very easy to use is what Russell is saying. Yeah, I would add to that that it, I, I am not a technical guy. As I said before, my specialty is philosophy, religious studies. And uh, I, I'm pretty good with math, but not with anything technical. And two, two things about Metastock. One is that it, especially the new version, I mean, it, it's got so many bells and whistles on it. I'm still discovering new, new ways to make money with it. It's an awesome product. But, but secondly, um, and, and it is uh, easy to use because everything's already coded in for you. You just have to click about three buttons, and you're going to come up with a great list of trading candidates you can do further research on. The charts themselves are really clean, very easy on the eye, easy to, to really get a good feel for the chart. I, I really don't like um, software that has charts that uh, they just don't feel user-friendly, but uh, Metastock has really nice, clean, clear charts, which I really appreciate. And then thirdly, about Metastock, it's got such an excellent um, customer support service. So any questions you have, you give them a call, you're going to get a handheld process all the way through. So I really recommend it. Uh, while we're live, I'd like to officially apologize for uploading the wrong presentation today. No, no problem. That was my fault. I, I had we had a little bit of a run around this morning, and uh, I apologize, but that was totally on me, not Dr. Carr. No worries. No worries. Glad we got the right one in. That's all that counts. All right. Any other questions out there, folks? Um, and again, you're welcome to email me at uh, drstocks, D-R-S-T-O-X-X, -X, at drstocks.com. It'll come right to me. I check my email every hour or so. Happy to write you back with any answers to your questions. And if anything in today's webinar could have been clarified or presented better, please let me know about that. We, Jeff and I are doing this every couple of months with different systems, different trading tips and so on. And you're very welcome to join all of them, of course but uh, I'm always looking for ways to improve it, so let me know. Okay. Thanks, hey, everybody. everybody. Uh, uh, 
I'll go ahead and let Dr. Carr talk for a second. No, I just wanted to thank Israel for the, the nice uh, compliment there. Glad, glad it's working out for you. Israel, I would agree with you, but that might seem vain. Uh, actually, we're very proud of the thing. I remember Dr. Carr actually was in California meeting me, with me when we lived there, and uh, we were kind of talking about how to pull all of the methodologies. I think we did a great job, uh, and I'm proud of it. So anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for coming. Uh, it's great to have you guys all out here, and uh, you're welcome to drop me a message. I sent an email to you this morning about kind of the event and the timing and that kind of stuff. So if you have questions or feedback for me, just go ahead and send it over to me, and we'll see you at the next class. Thanks for coming. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, everybody.